Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision. Myself, SI Babu. Today I am going to explore about Power BI scenario based interview question. So let's jump into the Power BI desktop. So here if you observe the question is how to export selected columns from table chart. So in Power BI we have two kind of table charts. One is we call it as a table chart. Another one is we call it as a matrix chart. So from the table chart, let's say I have 20 columns from the 20 columns. I need only 12 columns for my analysis in the Excel file. So how can I export that selected 12 columns from a table chart as a CSV file? So let's begin. So first what you need to do. So if you see this is my Uber rights performance report here if you observe here have a some KPIs total rights total users total drivers and total revenue. So here there is a table chart in the table chart. I have some fields like date location vehicle type model description color customer rating total revenue total fare fare per kilometer total distance ride duration. So here if you see from a day to till customer rating these are the normal attribute kind of columns and from total revenue to right duration is as a is uh, these fields are called as a measures so here you can observe what i dragged into this table chart so now suppose let's say for example here around i think 10 to 12 columns are there from these 12 columns i want to export only six or seven columns for my analysis so how i can achieve this so how i can achieve this means in power bi we have a concept called field parameters so by using that field parameters concept we can achieve this so how i can achieve this so let's start implementing so in power bi you have in the ribbon bar so home inset modeling view optimize help and external tools in that you can just click on modeling once if you click on modeling here you have a lot of options you can build a uh, relationships you can create a measures you can create a calculated columns and you can create a, some RLS roles like this in that here if you observe there is an option called new parameter what is this there is an option called new parameter and here we have a provision like that click on this drop down once if I click on this drop down we have two options in that two options one is numeric range parameter and another one is fields parameter so we can discuss about this numeric range parameter in our upcoming videos for now I will click on the field so once if I click on the field here if you see there is a one window pop up the parameters window add parameters to visuals and DAX expression so people can use slicer to adjust the inputs and see different outcomes so okay theory as usual I didn't understand let's begin the practicals so what I'll do here what will your variable adjust so from here also if you want you can change it to numeric range or if you want you can keep field as is so first what I will do I'll give you one meaningful name so what I will do, I will rename it as a attributes. I will rename it as a attributes. And later, what are the measures tables available in the data pane? The same thing, everyone, everything is available here. So here, first, what is my requirement? I need to create attribute parameters. What is attributes from date to till customer rating? So first, what I will do? From calendar table I can drag just expand this calendar and just simply click and hold and here drag and leave it so automatically date is moved from fields to the this reorder fields so the next one is location and vehicle type so I can expand my rights table from here so there is a field called location I can drag this location then vehicle type so vehicle type model next description next color next color then finally customer rating so customer rating so here if you observe some of the fields are not in a proper format so what i will do i'll rename it properly so just go to suppose I want to rename L as a capital L so go to the location and double click once if you double click it will enable to rename so simply delete small L 
and uh, type it as a capital and once if it is uh, done don't press enter just come here and click your mouse so it is changed like this i'll rename vehicle type also double click and uh, i will remove underscore and i will make t also capital t vehicle type and i will rename model also and i'll rename description also and i'll rename color and finally i rename customer rating so now everything is set so whatever the attributes we required we dragged that uh, fields from here to here and here main important one thing here there is an option called add slicer to this page so make sure that this checkbox should be ticked so if it is ticked after i click on create there is one slicer automatically added to the power bi canvas so before creating you can make sure that check proper name and whatever the fields you want to require you can drag from here to here and make sure that this checkbox you should be ticked and once everything is clear then click on create once if i click on create so it is creating a slicer so see automatically it is added a slicer the corresponding uh, field parameter dax code is also here written okay so if you want to rename suppose for this location also from here also you can rename like this by selecting this you can rename from here also we have a there is a option for renaming so hide it and you can uh, adjust the width of this uh, slicer okay so i adjusted this width of this uh, slicer and next what is our requirement i created already attributes slicer the next requirement is i need to create this measures parameter for this repeat the same procedure go to modeling and click on new parameter and click on fields once if you click on fields there will be a pop-up here you can rename it as a for example kpis kpis and uh, from key measures so what i need to drag for example total revenue then total fare fare per kilometer total distance total distance then what is last one right duration yes right duration so whatever the five fields one two three four five five fields so that total five measures i dragged from here to here and make sure that you can tick this uh, checkbox and once if everything is ready so just hit create so now it is creating one more slicer called kpis slicer so if you observe here automatically kpi slicer added the corresponding dax measure here automatically created so if you want rename anything from here also you can rename okay so now i can hide it so i can adjust this uh, width also okay so what i will do i will apply some formatting settings for uh, better uh, readability so go to slicer settings i can made it as a 14 as a header i can bold and go to values and values i'll give some light color so okay i don't want to bold and i can apply some border settings i can on visual and i can rounding the corners 10 and uh, border width two pixel and i can add shadow also so i can add shadow also so shadow color is white for example okay so i done the format settings also so once format the settings if i want to apply the same format settings to the another slicer also just click on this attributes go to this uh, format painter click on this format painter then there will be a brush icon simply after once if you see brush icon just click on this kpa slicer once if you click on so it is automatically so permitted as per the attribute slicer so now everything is ready so let's say if i want to export some selected columns for example date location and description oh no because the whatever the filters i am applying he, here it is not applying why why so here if we think simply we created the this slicers but 
we created the this slicers or parameters but we aren't we haven't applied that slice of parameters on top of this table so that's why this if i am selecting date it is not filtering this data so what we need to do now just select this table chart so whatever the fields presented in this table just remove everything remove everything so i am removing every field just click on cross mark so i am removing every field so i am closing so now what i'll do so from the attributes i can drag this attribute field here once if i drag attribute field whatever the attributes presented in this one this uh, field parameter that automatically appear here and from kpis parameter i can drag this kpi so now automatically so initially how it was the same it is uh, showing so for seeing all columns in uh, table i'll adjust the width of the column so description and vehicle type and i'll adjust location width also and i'll adjust customer rating and total revenue total fare and fare per kilometer and total distance and uh, i'll adjust total distance so i'll adjust right duration also so i'll adjust bit this one and uh, i can move this properly so now you are seeing all 12 columns in a table so let's apply for suppose i want to export date so if you want to select multiple fields just to uh, press control and click i want to export location and uh, description and customer rating so i want to export uh, measures or kpis total revenue suppose uh, total fare and uh, total distance so now here if you see from attribute i selected one two three four four fields and from kpis i selected three fields total seven fields one two three four five six seven so totally i selected seven fields so now what i need to do my requirement is i need to export this as a csv file and i can analyze in my uh, excel file so for this just click on this three dots ellipsis and click on this export data so click on this export data once if you click on this export data it is preparing for exporting so it is showing from warning data x is the limit your data is too large some data sampling maker oh okay so actually uh, there are a lot of hosts in this uh, table chat that's why it is uh, showing this warning so no problem there is a limit for csv file based on that only it can export from the power bi desktop for now click on continue once if i click on continue so it is asking to save as a csv file so data i can rename it as a uber data iphone uber okay just i'll click save so where it is saved it is saved in my d drive and a new folder so i can go to that folder so here if you see in the d drive new folder the csv file saved so i'll open it so it is opening csv file so if you see i can expand this one here if you see date column description customer rating and total revenue total fare total distance only those seven columns exported so now we can jump into the power bi desktop this is how you can export selected columns from a table chart this is not about interview question also after while you are working in the real time real time also there may be a such scenarios clients wants to export only uh, selected columns only for example here we have only 12 columns uh, in real time it could be 100 columns it could be 70 columns from the 70 columns as per the requirement from the different different teams they will export only that columns whatever the uh, columns required for their analysis so this is how you need to export the selected columns from the table chart so in interview how you can answer for let's say if panel ask this question how to export selected columns from a table chart you can explain him with example like this we can export the selected columns by using the field parameters concept in the power bi so for say uh, let's say example i have 10 columns but uh, i want to export only six columns for that i'll create a 
uh, one kind of uh, parameters uh, called attribute parameter and uh, uh, one kind of parameter called uh, KPIs or measures parameter. Once if everything was created, I can uh, re-modify the table chart according to that parameters. Then later, whatever the fields I need to export, I'll select those fields and I'll click export as a CSV file. So this is how you need to explain in the interview. So I will uh, recap once what we did. So first in this table chart, actually initially we have a 12 columns. From the uh, 12 columns, I created a field parameters uh, by uh, navigating this modeling under the new parameter. From here, by clicking the fera, uh, fields, I created this attributes and this uh, KPS. Once everything is created from this table chart, I removed the regular uh, columns and I dragged this attributes and uh, KPS. Uh, once everything is ready, I selected what are the fields required for my analysis and I went to this three dots and I exported as a CSV file and also I shown you what are the fields exported in the CSV file. So this is about how we can export the selected columns from a table chat. Hope you will this video. I hope everyone requesting you please practice this video. This is very very important question for interview and as well as in real time also your client may be asked. So I request everyone please like comment share and subscribe ksr data vision youtube channel thank you all we'll meet you in the next video